Hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK, www.xcase.co.uk. Please take a look at our website and join our Facebook. Right, I want to look at a One News chassis. It's a current uh, case that we've uh, been running for a number of years, but there are some changes on the new uh, stock that's just arrived, so I'll do a new video and just go over the case again. So it's basically a One U with four hot swap caddies on the front. It now has USB 3. There's two sockets there. Uh, we've got your standard on off there, reset, hard drive, light, power light and LAN lights. Each of the caddies have two lights, um, one on constantly for power and the other flickers away with hard drive activity. Chassis itself is 650mm deep, which means it will take all motherboard types included extended um, 12 by 13 inch dual processor boards. All right, let me just get the lid off. Okay. So looking on the inside, we've got these two plates here which will take two and a half inch drives or SSD drives and use those for your operating system. You can fit in a slim optical drive here and it's got these six 40 mil fans. Looking internally you'll see the back plane which is what the drives connect into. It's a mini SAS back plane so you've just got this one mini SAS connection here which you can use a reverse breakout cable to go directly to your motherboard or you can use a standard 8087 to 8087 cable if you go into a RAID card or HBA card. The backplane itself is the uh, latest standard which is a 12 gigabit. Um, there's not any drives available but there are um, HBA and RAID cards starting to appear on the market from LSI. And no doubt the drives won't be too long. As I said, this will take an extended board, but it'll also take anything from an ITX board, micro ATX board, ATX board upwards. It's got one expansion slot for fitting an extra, say, LAN card or a RAID card. This removes and you can fit uh, different I.O. shields. It comes with three I.O. shields. However, I.O. shields are a bit of a problem because there's so many different possibilities. So we now include this one which you can just cut down the squares to make up the shape of your motherboard I.O.s. That comes as standard with all the uh, chassis now. Also in the box of bits, you have this plate as standard and that allows to use some of the slimmer 1U type power supplies. As standard it will take a standard 1U power supply. It comes inclusive of a set of slide rails. It's very strong, 1.2 mil steel. As standard, the fans themselves are fairly noisy, 
which is fine, obviously, if it's in a data centre or somewhere like that. That's probably what you want. But just a little trick of the trade here. The fans are controlled by this uh, Molex. If they are too noisy, you can simply reverse the pins and that will make them very quiet and they'll run at much lower RPMs. So it's a, a low cost chassis for this type of thing. The whole package including the slide rail kits is under £100, excluding the tax. So it's very reasonable. We've built up hundreds and hundreds of systems in these over the years, and customers have always been happy. So there you go, X case RM140. Now available with USB 3 and upgraded backplane. Thanks for listening.